In this video, I want to um, introduce the logistic equation and show you how to solve it. Uh, I'd like to start by uh, motivating this equation. So if we look at the population growth, so if we have n being the uh, function of time as the population size, Then um, the initial uh, idea is um, that uh, comes from uh, Malthus. If we look at the uh, time derivative of the population size uh, due to births in the population, we get dn dt equals rn. And if the initial population size was given as n0, then the solution is exponential function. So we end up with n of t equals n0 times e to the rt. So exponential growth in the population. So Malthus uh, is famous for saying that populations, if populations grow exponentially, then eventually um, uh, people will run out of food and there'll be mass starvation. Okay. Now if you have a population that is, is limited by its environment, it can't grow exponentially forever. So then um, there was a modification to this equation by uh, Verhulst, who modified the Malthus equation by making it nonlinear. So dn dt we have the Malthus term, Rn, but then we multiply this by an additional term, which is linear, making a linear times linear a nonlinear term. An additional term, which will uh, be approximately 1 when n is small, so we get exponential growth, but then we'll go to 0 when n uh, grows up to a value of k which is called the uh, carrying capacity of the environment. So this is the uh, Volholst equation. K is called the carrying capacity. So uh, now dn dt will be 0 when n equals k. OK. This is almost the logistic equation. To get to the uh, logistic equation, you just non-dimensionalize the Verhulst equation. Uh, <clears throat> so r has units of 1 over time. So we call tau equals rt. k has same units as population size. So we call x equals n over k. If we do that, and we substitute t equals tau over r, we get an r here, it cancels this r. We substitute n equals kx. We get a k here and a k here, which cancel, and a kx, and the k's cancel here. We end up with the equation dx d tau equals x times 1 minus x. And that's the logistic equation. And to this, we can add some initial condition x0 equals x0, where x0 is typically some small positive number. OK, <clears throat> so that's the logistic equation. So um, in a differential equations class, you could be asked to solve this. This is a nonlinear first order equation, but it's separable. So uh, to solve this, we can separate. So we have dx over x times 1 minus x. And that's equal to d tau. And then we can integrate both sides. So we have the integral goes from x0 to x goes from 0 to tau. The right-hand side is uh, easy, so this is just tau, OK? Um, <clears throat> so that means we need to do this integral. 
Uh, this type of integral is done by partial fraction decomposition. So we write 1 over x times 1 minus x is equal to a over x plus b over 1 minus x. Uh, we can determine a and b um, by different methods. The easiest one is cover-up method. Uh, if we multiply both sides by x and set x equal to 0, the b term will go to 0. This will become a. So we multiply both sides by x. This goes away. Set x equal to 0. We get a equals 1. If we multiply both sides by 1 minus x and set x equal to 1, the a will go away. And then the b will be 1 over x when x equals 1 will also be 1. Okay. So now we can uh, uh, rewrite this one. So we have the integral from x0 to x of two pieces, 1 over x plus 1 over 1 minus x. So let me write that down. So then we have the integral from x0 to x of two pieces. One is 1 over x, so dx over x. The other is the integral from x0 to x of the second piece, which is 1 over 1 minus x, so dx over 1 minus x. Uh, these are logs. So this first one is log x over x0. This second one is also a log, but because there's a minus x here, it's minus log uh, 1 minus x. So um, let me fix that here, put a minus sign. So we get a minus log 1 minus x from the upper limit over 1 minus x naught from the uh, lower limit, OK? And then we can combine these two. So this becomes log x times 1 minus x naught over x naught times 1 minus x using the properties of logarithms. And remember, this was equal to the integral of, tau, of d tau, so this was just equal to tau. OK? OK, well now we want to solve this for x. Uh, we can do that by taking exponential of both sides and then cross multiplying. So that will become x times 1 minus x naught. And then we get uh, x naught times 1 minus x times exponential e to the tau. Uh, isolate x. So this is x. We have a 1 minus x naught from here. And then we have a minus x naught e to the tau. We bring that to the left. That becomes plus x naught e to the tau. And what's left on the right-hand side is just an x naught e to the tau. OK? We can solve this for x. So x, then, is equal to x naught e to the tau over uh, let me write it as x naught e to the tau plus 1 minus x naught. And the last simplification we can do is to multiply the numerator and the tom denominator by e to the minus tau. So we can write this as x naught over x naught plus 1 minus x naught 
times e to the minus tau. Okay, and that's kind of the standard form for the solution to the uh, logistic equation. Okay, so this is our x of tau, right? Let me just write that here so we can see that. This is our x of tau. <coughs> um, when tau is 0, this is 1. So it's x naught over x naught plus 1 minus x naught, which is just x naught. Right, that's the initial condition. And when tau goes to infinity, the exponential decays to 0. And x of tau goes to x naught over x naught, which is 1. So if we draw a graph of this uh, solution to the logistic equation, this is tau, this is x. Let me draw in red. If we start down at a relatively small value of x down here, we'll have initially we get exponential growth, right? Because we satisfy Malthus's equation. But then um, the carrying capacity kicks in, and this flattens out to a value of 1. Okay? Um, this S-shaped curve is characteristic of the solution of a logistic equation. And um, it shows up in many physical problems, where you have initially exponential growth, and then a saturation at some equilibrium value. So the logistic equation uh, shows up in many problems. Okay, 